Hey guys, in this video we have some work from home jobs that are part-time hiring right now with no experience. You can earn up to $30 per hour and the first company is at doist.com. This is a company that creates productivity tools that promote a more balanced way to work and live. They have a job right now called a junior growth marketer. So this is a remote position. They don't really give you a lot of requirements in terms of where you have to be. They pretty much say you can work from anywhere and make your own schedule. And with this particular job, you are going to join a small team of marketers, which is about 10 people or less, but you're going to be making a big impact on the company. They're looking for someone who's eager to learn and soak up new experiences whilst offering valuable and unique contributions to the growth execution. You will learn a wide breadth of growth marketing's most essential skills. You'll work on things like paid acquisition, organic acquisition, which is SEO and ASO, and Todoist partner program, and more. This is a six-month term at 20 hours per week with the potential of turning into a full-time role afterwards. So this could turn into an actual career. What they want from you is the eagerness to learn and an insatiable ap appetite for absorbing new information and skills. A genuine interest in growth marketing that is sustainable and mindful of users and the brand. They are not interested in growth at all costs. Some awareness and understanding of organic and paid growth tactics, willingness to dive into various topics and disciplines, and a general curiosity for product-led marketing, communicational aptitude. So you'll be interacting and sharing your work with a wide variety of doists in many roles, disciplines, and countries. A general grasp of data and math that drives growth would be very helpful, and a team player approach is also important. So the main thing to, to really pay attention to here is everything they talk about here is pretty much about they want somebody who's willing to learn, who can soak up a lot of training and things like that, who are curious and passionate about this, but they're not really saying you have to have done this before. So they also talk again about how you will learn a lot of new skills and things like that. You'll learn about the things they want you to learn about for this particular job, and then it could turn into something full time. So as far as some of the benefits that go with this job, you get a flexible schedule and location. This is a remote freelance position. So you're free to work from wherever you please on whatever schedule works best for you. You'll be joining a dynamic international team. So this is also an international company. So you should be able to apply from just about anywhere in the world. And you also get free Todoist premium vouchers as well, which I believe is part of one of their main products. So it's, I believe, some sort of productivity tool, and I guess you just get to use it for free and things like that. But about this role, they really don't like say a whole lot about what exactly you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis. So... But you're a growth marketer, so you're going to just learn SEO, you're going to learn different types of marketing, as they said, and help them grow the company, learn strategy behind marketing. It seems like a real entry-level position. So you get to work when, when you want. You get to work from pretty much anywhere in the world with this job, and you also are going to be fully trained, it looks like. Now, another thing about this job, they don't really have enough information to know exactly how much they're gonna pay you, but I can look up what other junior growth marketers typically make, and it's around 64,000 a year if you were to work full time, but you won't be working full time, which means we need to do a little math here. So if you do say 64,000, and you divide that by 2,080, you will get your hourly rate, or at least an estimate of your hourly rate, because a typical full-time job works about 2,080 hours in a year. So you're looking at around 30 to $31 per hour for a job like this, typically. Now, as far as reviews for this company, Doist has 26 reviews, and they have a 4.7 out of 5 star rating. 93% recommend working here to a friend. 100% approve of the CEO. So they seem to be a good place to work in general. For their benefits, uh, you won't really get a lot of benefits in the beginning as you are a freelance part-time worker, but if you do go full-time, you could enjoy some really nice benefits that have been given a, given a 4.3 out of 5 star overall rating out of 3 ratings. So 
They get things like a monthly stipend to use on whatever you want, like the gym, books, etc. And they give you some flexibility with your schedule, generous maternity, work from anywhere on whatever schedule you like, and things like that. So it looks like they're just very flexible in general. It doesn't seem like it's just this job where you get to kind of make your own schedule. Now, as far as what it's like to interview here, they have a 2.9 out of 5 difficulty rating. But one thing that really sticks out is they have an 86% positive experience interviewing here. That's very high for any job that I've seen on Glassdoor or at any company. That's very high. So they seem to be a good place overall to work and they do give you a lot of flexibility and you could earn as much as 30 to $31 per hour. Another company to check out is U-Haul. U-Haul is a company, if you're in the United States especially, you've probably heard of U-Haul. It's a go-to company for storage, for moving, for renting a truck so that you can take a bunch of things from point A to point B, all sorts of stuff like that. But they're kind of known as a, a moving company and storage company. Uh, so they actually have a bunch of jobs available like these sales and reservations agents. And this is a seasonal remote job. They have quite a few of these available. And for these particular jobs, you'll be serving customers by quoting rental rates and earning new business through sales, cross-selling, and overcoming objections. Now, you'll also notice that on the location here, it says Phoenix, Arizona. This is still a part-time work-from-home position. You have a lot of these available. I'm just showing you one example. So we'll go back to the job search in a minute, and I'll show you how many of these are actually available. This one you earn more like $17 per hour. You're basically doing customer support for the most part. You may have some sales incentives here. I don't know if they have any type of performance-based incentives or commissions or anything like that, but essentially you're just going to serve them by quoting rental rates and earning new business through sales, cross-selling, overcoming objections, and providing support to customers with existing business, making changes to reservations, answering general questions, helping customers with concerns, and taking payments. So this is a great opportunity for students, educators, or anyone who wants a temporary summer job with potential to promote a permanent part or full-time job. So it's these are both, both the jobs I'm showing you are kind of, you start out kind of part-time, but they could go full-time. For this one, you have a paid four-week education program as well to help you build your skill set for this. So training is also provided with this one as well. And you have everything you need pretty much through this program. So job requirements, they're looking for people to serve the customers during the summer season for this one. Again, they'll probably have some others as well that are outside of the summer. And you will work remotely within defined guidelines, including scripting, reading customer adversaries, to facilitate the reservation process for customers through inbound sales calls. So a lot of these, they want you to apply before July 1st, 2023. So you have another month or so to apply for these. And you do have some training, of course. You will attend mandatory training. Must be able to work 25 to 40 hours per week, no overtime. And must be able to at least do one weekend per week for at least one six hour shift working two is preferred now again the time that you're going to be working is going to vary depending on where you are these are mostly going to be in the united states as well so you will identify and confirm the customer's moving needs find new needs based solutions by matching the available products or services you recommend new or alternative products and services that might be of interest so you're going to kind of cross sell and upsell a little bit as well we're going to sell the benefits of doing business with u-haul maintaining a high level of satisfaction, minimum experience, strong communication skills, able to multitask and successful completion of a job related assessment. Pre preferred experience, one year of customer contact experience, experience in a fast paced environment, six plus months experience, frequently communicating with customers in lots of different ways. So that's not required, but is preferred. Work from home requirements, quiet, private workspace, dependent childcare arrangements must be made, and other than that, not a whole lot else. Computer specifications, Windows 10 or 11, eight gigabytes of RAM or memory. So it doesn't look like they provide you equipment this at this job, but it is part-time. You can't really expect that. Additional hardware, webcam, USB headset, internet speeds, ping under 100, 10 MB download, 5 MB upload. And then following is not permitted due to compatibility, performance, and other reasons. 
Mac operating systems are not permitted. Internet access through satellite, cell, cellular phone, and things like that. You can't use like a hotspot for internet or anything like that. Using a proxy server. There's a lot of different things on here. They don't want you to use unsecure Wi-Fi. So stuff like that. But as far as how many of these they have available, let's go back to the job search here. So you'll look and you'll see some reservation agents. You'll see callback agents. You'll see um, some sales and reservation work from home jobs as well. You have a lot of different ones available. You see lots of different locations here. I've seen like Nevada, I think Dallas, Georgia. You have Arizona. You have a lot of different areas in the United States where these are available. And they have four pages of remote jobs here. So you have e-sales agents. These are more full-time. So they have these in Texas, Arizona, and things like that as well. You have Florida, Arizona, North Carolina. So you just kind of have to go through and find the one that matches which state you live in because these are all US based. As far as what it's like to work at U-Haul, they have 3.2 thousand reviews and they have an overall rating of 3.4 out of 5 stars. 60% recommend working here to a friend. So decent ratings as far as that goes. If you were to go full time later on, like they said, there could be an option for 3.5 out of 5 stars for their benefits. Interview wise, as far as what it's like to actually apply here, they have a two out of five difficulty rating. So it seems like it's not too hard to get a job here. 62% had a positive experience interviewing here. Only 19% had a negative experience. So that's good as well. That's a very good sign. And you can look up interview questions for all sorts of these as well. You can look at customer service, sales agents, those types of things, like if you did e-sales and reservation agent, that's probably one that would have very similar questions that you would get asked in an interview. 100% had a positive experience interviewing for this type of job. Um, why U-Haul was one question that some people got asked. Looks like it's one of the few people that actually said anything about what they were asked here. You have customer service reps as well. Somebody was asked, do you have experience parking and driving vans? What skills do you have that would help you excel as a customer service rep? Why are you interested in this job? Are you comfortable with a flexible work schedule? So those are some things you could get asked here for these types of jobs. They all seem to be very easy to apply for and not too difficult. Hopefully this was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell if you want more daily work from home jobs like these. And I'll see you in the next video.